Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome back to another episode on the Hermit's Craft server. It is episode 135 and today I am currently rendering a video whilst in probably one of the most intensive areas of the Hermit Craft server. So right now, things are looking like a tiny bit of a slideshow and I do apologise for that. But today, I did not want to wait on starting this Hermit Craft episode because I have got some ridiculous, bonkers, insane plans that I think are going to end up looking amazing. Seriously, seriously amazing. We're not going to be working on the mega base today. We're not going to be working on the drone or the industrial district. None of that. We're going to be working in the Bat Cave. And Mr. Batman is developing some weapons of mass awesome. Yes, mass awesome. Let's head over there. We have got some serious building to do. Now, because we haven't been in the Bat Cave for like maybe one or two months, I think it's only right that we try our best to do the good old fashioned flying entry. So, hopefully we have just opened up the doors. There is no way of me knowing if that has worked. And oh my word, this was a bad idea. Frame rates are low, but we are coming in nicely. <laughs> that counts, doesn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, we just, just about made it, sort of, kind of. Right, well, we have managed to make it through the piston door and <laughs> into the bat cave incredibly elegantly and for those of you who haven't seen this place before this is just one of those builds that I decided to work on randomly on a day and I had a blast doing it so we've got the Batcave computer we've got the armory we have got the Batmobile over here which is looking rather nice um, I swear there's something else oh yeah we've got the combat training area that is going on down at the bottom here which is a pretty serious business build with tons of different things going on and it also has a timing system so really quite complicated but today we're going to be building a missile silo an actual working missile silo now that is the plan I have no clue how well this is going to go fingers crossed it ends up being amazing and we should be able to launch some missiles in today's episode of Hermitcraft. I can't wait. So, I have been trying my best to work out where this thing is going to be going and where we're actually going to be building it, and I have settled on a place off in this direction over here. So it's going to be on the other side of the power beam. We're going to basically knock our way through this wall and create like a little tunnel that will then take us into the missile silo area. So I've got a little bit of mining to do, and then we should be on our way. I just realized something. Uh, I was going to build the missile silo, Around about here, this sort of area, <laughs> can you imagine? We're going to be building a missile that's loaded up with TNT and it would have just smashed straight into this. <laughs> oh my word. Right, I'm on the second account right now, so I guess we should probably find an area that clears my base and that's where we're going to be constructing it. Okay, so I have completely changed my plans as to where this thing is going to be located. And it's actually going to be located near the industrial district, which means I've got to be so careful when loading up my missile with the TNT, because that could go very wrong very, very quickly. But I'm just in the process of clearing out a 10 by 10 area, which is going to go right the way up to the surface so that our missile can launch. So this right here is where the missile is going to be coming out of the ground. It is going to be blasting off and for sure clearing the base. If it somehow managed to explode the drone, I will be very upset. So now what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to run over, pick up the beacon from down at the bottom of the mega base over there because I'm sick and tired of mining so slowly and then we'll be able to just destroy all of this land. And here it is! We now have ourselves a massive hole going right the way down to the bottom. That thing is looking pretty mega and of course we will be doing decoration in this area right here. I should probably make sure that all of it is fully lit up. But, yeah, it's a little bit sad to see the wonderful Iskalian terraforming disappear down the side of that hill there. I mean, that hill was probably one of my favourite hills. But it's being replaced with a missile silo. I mean, <laughs> how much cooler could you possibly get than that? So this is the area that we have right about there. And, of course, we're going to be building a missile down at the bottom. But we're also going to have that entrance type thing. You know the the top part that opens up to reveal the missile before you launch it because obviously you don't want your missiles out in the open that's that's a really bad way to be so we need to cover them up and then when we want to launch this thing we'll open up the top and then launch it out of the top now if you're wondering what we're actually going to do for the top section this is going to be what it looks like so there is the missile silo opening sequence now this thing was originally designed to be a mob spawner right here so the idea was was that the mobs would spawn on these platforms 
and then every now and again it would fire opening up everything. I wonder if I can actually simulate that happening. If I power... I, I don't know what any of this redstone does, but if I power this, yeah, you can see the entire mob spawner opens up and all of the mobs will drop out the bottom. It was a cool idea, totally didn't work, was really inefficient and terrible, but I really like the way that this thing looks and I always wanted to use it for a missile launching system. And now we have the perfect opportunity. So this area right here is an 11 by 11 area. So we're going to have to knock out a few extra blocks. But other than that, <laughs> We are good to go on this thing. It would be really nice if I had my redstone shulker box right now because we need a lot of redstone and I don't seem to have a lot of redstone anymore. Bit of a progress update for you. Turns out it wasn't an 11 by 11 area, it was a 15 by 15 area. I don't know how I got that so wrong, but I've corrected all of that, I've punched out the extra blocks and now I am just in the process of building the actual shape of this thing. So this is going to be the size and the shape of the missile silo itself. Now that one there is the bottom layer and then the top layer of furnaces will be going on this layer of blocks right here making its way around like that. Now you may notice that it is going to be fairly inset into the floor especially on this side as well and I was thinking that we could build some form of like heat shield type area around here just for decoration but I haven't really thought that far ahead just yet. But now this is all in we have to start work on all of the redstone. I've got all of the resources so this should be Fingers crossed, relatively quick. Test number one of slime block structure. We are now going to power this repeater right here. I seem to have gone into like mission control mode. I think it's just the zone that I'm getting into. But if we just power this redstone. Sweet, it works. Okay, this is an awesome circuit. How smart is this? So it turns out, as per usual, I've been a complete and utter moron. I've built this thing the wrong size. Uh, it turns out that it's not a perfect square, it's slightly rectangular, which means that, I mean, our missile is going to fit. There's no problem there. There's no problems with the missile. It's the massive area that I've just been ages clearing out and then adjusting because I got it wrong the first time. Now, now it's wrong again. And I've built this part wrong. I mean, I just can't get anything right. That's really wrong. Oh my word. <laughs> After a myriad of different mistakes and failures, I think we might be on the home straight here for the first half of the missile silo opening system. So, click the lever. No. <laughs> no? What have I done wrong this time? Uh... How's that come about? Now I'm totally lost. I've built it wrong again! That one there is meant to be in the four wide area, which is this space, and this, oh my, just, oh, God. <laughs> That's a little bit more like it. We now have a working system. Ah, oh, right, <laughs> okay. Now it is time to crack on with the other side of this thing, and then it'll be done. And we don't have to make any more mistakes. I mean, we're working with TNT later. Hopefully we don't carry on this trend. This side had significantly less mistakes and these should be the final blocks. And if we flick this lever here, everything has knitted together to create an awesome looking area right here. And if we flick this lever once again, very nice, very, very nice. Right, we just have to hick up these two inputs. So just put those both together, then connect them up into some form of lever that is going to be going down in mission control down at the bottom here. And then we'll be able to retract the ceiling really fast. Guys, I, I have some really bad news. I've managed to get stuck in a block and my pickaxe is broken at the same time, which means, oh, well, yeah, it's slightly less dramatic now. But still, I've lost my pickaxe. Right, so this should work. After getting myself a new pickaxe, we have now got... That's awesome. That is seriously awesome. I know it has taken me a long time to construct this thing in today's episode. But that's worth it. Right, okay, let's do some decoration to this place. I think we're going to match the size of this thing and we're going to add in like stone bricks, iron blocks and everything like that, make it look really, really official. 
and then we can start work on the missile itself. I've just discovered something that I could do while we're in the Death Star. If you press shift, look how much you move. That is perfect. I can now dodge people's bullets. Oh my word. I'm gonna be an unstoppable force. So this is it guys. This here is our missile silo all decorated. Now you may notice that it's not exactly the prettiest looking thing in the world, but that's because it's not meant to be the prettiest looking thing in the world. So we have the iron blocks, we've got the stone bricks, it all looks very reinforced and very proper. And we also have this central section right here. So this right here is a four by five area, I do believe, which is the amount of space that we have for the missile itself. So we've got four by five by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is how big our missile can actually be. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop into the redstone testing world. I'm going to see what sort of thing I can create here because we want this thing to look monstrous. I think for the time being, I'm going to build some form of rocket ship. And right now, this is what I've got so far. It's, it's nothing particularly spectacular, but it fills in the four by five area. And I'm just trying to work out the final few sections. It's difficult. I am so, so terrible at these flying machines, but I think I might actually be, be on to a bit of a winner here. In fact, we could run this. See, I really want it to be like densely compact so that it looks really cool, but I'm not good enough to do that yet. <laughs> I'm really interested to see if this thing actually flies because I'm using observers and things and downwards facing sticky pistons. So there's a chance that it just totally doesn't work. So let's give it a go. Hey, first time. Yes. What a win. And there you go. Everything has stopped. This is now the activator piston, I believe. Okay. We have got some stuff to work with. Yes. So this is it, the official design. I decided to be brave and add in one extra piston and I think there's a chance that this could break it, but <laughs> and it works and it's so good. Oh, awesome. So we've got ourselves, well, this is by far my most compact flying machine I've ever made. I mean, it's really dense. It looks really cool when it's sat there like that. This thing looks amazing. And I guess we should probably get to work on building it on the Hermitcraft server. I'm trying to build this thing from what I did in my redstone testing world. And I just, I'm so confused. <laughs> um, everything looks the wrong way round. And everything looks really confused. As you can see, I've done this. And I can promise you this is 10 minutes work. <laughs> I am so totally lost as to where I am right now. You can see we've got a lot of the missile. Like, the rocket is coming together and it is looking like a slime block contraption. But I refuse to believe this thing's actually going to fly. I think we need, yeah, redstone block there. And then we have the regular piston underneath, which is pointing upwards. So this is actually going to be our power piston. This is the one that's going to be kickstarting the entire thing. And that goes upwards there, I believe. We've got the obsidian in place to make sure that this thing doesn't just take off on us. I mean, this is this is much more difficult than I was expecting. This is like an hour and a half's work. But after some extra tweaking, this thing is now finished. We now have ourselves a working missile silo opening system and also a missile to go on the inside. <laughs> I can't believe I'm even saying those words. That is totally ridiculous. So I guess now what we have to do is we need to build the launching mechanism and then actually give this thing a tester. And I've just realized something that once I fire this, I then have to rebuild it. <laughs> like, there's nothing that I can do other than destroy it in the air and then rebuild it. So I've basically created a system that I now don't want to launch. I don't want to try it because of how long it took to build that missile, but I think, I think I'm going to do it in today's episode. So what we're going to do is we're going to head down to the bottom. I'm going to hook up a block update sender, which will be like a piston that quickly fires into the edge of that piston there, just to give it a quick update so it actually kickstarts it. And then we can see how well this thing actually works. 
first test is to see if the actual mechanism is working. So this should close up the missile silo. Fantastic. That looks good. We seem to have lost a slime block there, but I'm sure that's just me faffing about and punching in the wrong places. Right, let's flick this lever here, and we should see that opens up, and then we get the update. So that's it. That is the system, so I guess... Remove that, try our best not to cause any block updates in this area right here and travel up to the surface and prepare to launch my first missile or rocket, I guess on the Hermitcraft server Oh, I'm excited! The nerves are kicking in now, ladies and gentlemen I've just checked to see if I've got enough space on my hard drive to do this Five Four Three Two One Blast off! Everything has opened up <laughs> Joking me! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> What's happened there? Is it this? It can't be that. Right, which piston has got stuck? Did I leave in some scaffolding blocks that I shouldn't have done? It's this one. That one was meant to send an update, but it didn't pull the blocks. Now that is a little bit strange. Oh! It's running! It's going! Oh no! Oh, we've missed our own launch! No! I really wanted to see that! I wanted to see it come through the area! Oh, for goodness sake! Oh, I missed the screenshot and everything. I wanted to get a really cool screenshot of it blasting off. I mean, that's just... No! I didn't get one! Oh, that's so funny. Let's see if we can beat it in a race. There we go. That's quite a cool screenshot. But how frustrating is that? Can you believe it? <laughs> so I think that just sums up today's episode of Hermitcraft. I mean, it works. It looks really cool. I'm enjoying watching it travel off. In fact, you know what I could do? Is I could try and land on it and we could ride it up into the atmosphere. I think that would be a fun thing to do. Let's see, this is gonna this is gonna be a tricky one. Especially because it, it's entirely made of slime box. So I'm probably going to bounce off the top. There we go. We made it. And we get launched up like that every single time it moves. Right. <laughs> I can't believe that though. That is hilarious. Oh Well, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. I thought it would be cool to watch as we travel up past the drone. Obviously, we are going to miss a lot of the drone, but this is the first actual flying machine that I've built in survival on the Hermitcraft server, and it was awesome. So let me know down in the comment section if you want to see more of this sort of thing. I'm almost tempted to make like a full fleet of these things that you can launch from down at the bottom of my base. That would be amazing, okay? That seriously would be amazing. It would take hours, it would take days, but I think that would be a cool thing to be able to do that perhaps when we hit like 1.5 million subscribers or on the last few days of Hermitcraft Series 4 we could just launch them and watch as they travel off into the sky. Hopefully it goes a little bit better than what that one did though because yeah that launch probably wasn't one of the smoothest ones and I've fallen through my own flying machine so there we go. <laughs>
But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this episode on the Hermitcraft server. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later. Oh, gosh. Now I'm going to die.